Welcome back to Burn Peak. I'm Seth, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little different, but kind of the same. The last time I rode my bike was in October, and I had an injury, and the injury got complicated, and here I am now in mid-March, getting on my mountain bike for the first time. I'm here at Canuga. It's one of my favorite places to ride. I'm with Kevin. He's my favorite person to ride with. We are gonna take it easy and work our way up. I pretty much have to like learn how to use my foot on my bike again because I just don't have the same range of motion I did. So we're gonna start climbing to the top. That's gonna be interesting. And then we're gonna choose an easy trail, do another lap and just keep stepping it up until I kind of know I'm in a danger zone. So let's get to it. So that was my first climb since I've been back in six months and I kind of feel okay. Kevin's gonna follow me. We're gonna head down a trail and I think I'm gonna do GNCC. Let's do it. I'm excited to be back on the bike with you, man. I felt pretty good. Yeah, you look super sharp, man. I'm, like you were, I'm definitely out of practice, like a little bit. You look like you're handling it just fine. I think we're going to good speed today. When it comes to a drop, even a small drop, my ankle feels like it's gonna give out. I think it's I just, I haven't used it. Yeah. I gotta condition it. I'm not quite ready to go on anything hard, but maybe we'll go back up and take some kind of flow trail and just get in rhythm again. So I just climbed up the fire road. It's half the distance and twice as steep. And I'm more surprised by the fitness type stuff than the technical stuff because just like anyone else, you, you can't buy it, you can only rent it. You have to keep putting in those miles in order to stay fit. Kevin's favorite trail is Roto Ruckus. I'm gonna follow him down, see how I do. Having recovered from a series of injuries, I can say this one's much, much different. You're always weak and your body always feels a little different, but this time I was off the bike for longer than I ever have been and I'm really weak. Yet, I was able to do all the jumps on Tortuga. I don't know if I should have done that. You know, some of the jumps are kind of big for a blue trail, but it's smooth. It's a really smooth trail and so catching those transitions, it didn't feel like much at all and I didn't lose too much ability through the six months. With that said, I'm gonna take it slow. There's a tech trail here that I'm dying to try. I'm not gonna do it today. The bottom gets kind of gnarly. Now, it's worth noting that I'm not gonna make a full recovery in my right foot. We have to cut three tendons loose. There's some numb spots. From now on, if I go out with the sole intention of hitting jumps, I'm gonna wear an ankle brace. That was a recommendation of Eric's. He broke his ankle and after that, he always wore a brace when hitting jumps and I think it's a good idea. So if you're recovering from an injury and you wanna know kinda how to get back into mountain biking, do as I say, not as I do. You know, you're gonna be the only one who can make the judgment of what your level of risk tolerance is going to be. Start by just pedaling around. I did that on the gravel bike and just kinda built up some of my muscles a little bit. And then today, the first thing we did was we hit a really easy trail. Didn't really have big features or jumps or anything like that. It was just a bunch of rollers and ruts. Then we went down a flow trail where we're just kind of pumping and hitting berms and, and getting the feeling for some speed. And then I went over to this blue jump trail. And you know what? I don't feel like I put myself at risk. I feel good. I feel like I could climb back up and do another lap. This is all good news. Now I know that I'm gonna be ready to ride all of Berm Park when it's built. And I'm gonna be able to get back to doing what I love most. So with that, I say we go for another lap. Uh, like there that. we go. Welcome to your first ride back, but how you feeling? I feel amazing. Yeah? Yeah, I feel better than I ever have in six months. Well, I would say besides the day my daughter was born, but that was kind of scary. This was not scary. 
this was awesome. I didn't know if I'd be able to ride again because on a continuing basis, it doesn't get any better. And so this last surgery, I was putting trust in this doctor and I just cleared a blue jump line and stuff. By next month, I'll be doing everything I was doing. So the new plan is don't get injured. I know every time I get hurt, I learn absolutely nothing. I go right back out and do the same thing, but this time it's a little different. I mean, I still have neuropathy that's gonna last at least another year. And I have a daughter now, and I'm just thinking more responsibly and more long-term. And so I'm really proud of myself for being able to sort of dial it back today and stay on the smaller stuff. And I'm gonna continue to do so and ramp it up slowly. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me on my first ride back. It brings me so much pleasure to be able to share it with you guys. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.